Hello friends, good morning. Today I am going to present a very interesting use case for manufacturing work center utilization. Consider you have single work center but the same work center has been used in three different shifts. So how can you plan, you know, different product to be produced on the same work center during different shifts? So it's a configuration tweak, uh, but I started my configuration with, you know, working schedule definition. So what I have done is I have created different, different, uh, you know, shifts like W1 S1 belongs to work center one shift one, where shift start at 12 in the night and end at eight o'clock in the morning. Same way work center one shift two, okay. that is W1 S2. I have started at eight and at 4 p.m. And then the last shift work center one S3 started at 4 p.m. and end at, you know, 23.59 almost now because I can't keep zero, 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 zero hours. This is one setting. Second setting, what I have done is I have created work center two shift one, which start at six o'clock in the morning up to 2 p.m. And then two to 10 at the night but the shift 3 where you know Odu considers you know the working day should start at 12 o'clock in the night midnight and end at you know uh, next day 23 59 hours so what I have to do is I have to play around like my shift starts at you know 12 o'clock in, in the night to 6 and the uh, second day like if you see from Monday morning and then Monday afternoon you know, 10 to 23.59. This is a kind of, you know, setting I have done to keep, you know, almost eight hours a day of shift. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, everything is divided into two uh, particular shift, which start at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. Uh, ends over here at 12 midnight and then 12 midnight to 6. So that's how I have done my settings, okay, to, to keep my example, uh, you know, handy. And then I have created uh, several bill of materials where finished goods I have used semi finished goods and you know uh, to raw material and in operation I have defined W1 shift 1 in W1 shift 1 work center 1 I have defined like there are two alternate work centers available okay so when work center 1 gets busy it can start utilizing the alternative work center that is how Odoo works now I have defined two another goods like FG2 which is going to be produced on W1 shift 2 and then W1 shift 3 where I am going to produce FG3. So I have divided my same work center in three different facilities. Uh, the advantage is now I can do work center utilization in three different shift but the limitation is you know inside work center you can't keep the same equipment because one equipment can belong to one work center so that's the limitation of Odoo. Okay, I haven't defined any equipment because that equipment should be, you know, uh, separate out uh, by work center. This is only a tweak. Okay, so to manage and plan your work orders. Now what happens is I have planned uh, different, different work orders. So if you see, I have planned, you know, uh, finished goods and semi-finished goods. And on raw material, I have always asked like make to order. Okay, so for finished goods, I need semi-finished goods, which is, you know, make to order and in semi-finished goods, I need some raw material, which is again make to order. So it's always trigger purchase orders. All right. So now, uh, as you can see, I am going to show you work center by planning. So in my yearly plan, you can see this work center one shift one has been utilized already. And if I go into list view, my, you know, finished goods has been, you know, start by 5th May and end on 9th May according to this and on work center 2 again finished goods and FG2 is being going to produce okay this is how it is already planned all right now what's happen what happens is uh, if you are uh, now planning to sell uh, this item finished goods again so uh, we have to you know keep producing it and let's say I need uh, uh, this finished goods on somewhere around 1st May. So what I will do is I will create a new manufacturing order and I will say I need this you know on 1st May. I may require you know 30 units. So system will 
ask for semi finished goods which is again a produced item so as soon as i confirm system will always plan to schedule at first may and at second may but it has a child demo which is going to produce semi finished goods so semi finished goods is again you know scheduled on first may and end on second may uh, you know as per the planning and as soon as i plan this on first may okay it is automatically planned on 17th you know may why so let's check it out my work center availability that is work center to shift one is my work center so if i go my work center is w2 shift one so w2 shift one w2 shift one is already busy till 17th may right so what happens is it has now planned to start at 17th may this 35 number you can see because of busyness of this work center so that's how odoo has automatically planned based on the availability of the work center and hence my source mo which is my finished course it is trigger an exception here once i go on exception it will show me a uh, uh, error message like an exception preceding order means 35 number of order which is a child demo is planned on 25th may which gives me my semi finished goods so here i have to go and plan my order after 21st may and then it will now resolve my exception now if i want to plan this it will plan 22nd may onwards according to availability so if i check my availability again you can see the work center one after receiving this item it will start on 23rd may okay. so this is how uh, you can utilize several work center now let's say uh, for this another two items which are you know planned separately on separate work centers like fg2 fg3 so over here if i want to see fg2 and fg3 it is nothing is there yeah fg2 and fg3 which are already planned from 29th april to 11th may and 29th april to 18th may okay fg2 and fg3 now if i'm planning fg2 and fg3 again between the dates like i want on 5th may okay and as soon as i confirm so over here if i go to my planning by work center over here i need w1 shift to work center w1 shift to work center which is already busy producing fg2 okay over here and this is the proposed demo which is planned on 5th may okay but planning is not there because i haven't planned yet but it is only one let me plan maybe 10 units okay and then plan it so plan will automatically done on 11th may based on my work center availability c because on 11th may at 12 noon the previous order has been going to end hence it has started on 11th may post 12 noon okay so this is how it is going to work and now the quantity demand was you know one only hence if i want to produce 10 i have to uh, you know supply the goods but the time which oru has considered for one unit okay i'm going to unplan let me plan for one unit only and plan it so it will only utilize for those minutes only okay for 60 minutes approximate to complete my work order now the if i am going to plan fg3 so over here fg3 is already planned between 29th april to 18th may so if i want somewhere around you know 10th may maybe 50 units and i confirm 
but as soon as I click on plan, it will always plan after 18th May based on my work center availability. So see, at 1650 hours it is ending the previous order and then for new 50 units it is starting and then waiting for components always there because I am making mid to order purchase for raw materials. So hope uh, uh, this kind of setup will help you uh, to plan your production facility entire 24 hours but i have divided into two, uh, you know three work center and three different shifts okay i hope uh, uh, this example is uh, complex because to to think this uh, definitely uh, my colleague my friends are helping me out uh, so thanks to them uh, to bring such uh, beautiful use cases and yeah i keep producing uh, complex use cases like this as a video tutorial and uh, giving you know the odoo community a, a guidance uh, how to set up uh, such facility inside odoo okay hope this helps many consultant and end users thank you very much